He was a first round draft pick by the Oklahoma City Thunder and is currently playing in his fourth NBA season. Welcome Reggie Jackson. The winner of the NBA D-League Dream Factory sweepstakes presented by Boost Mobile, Edward Bermudez. A Bronx native who started St. John's before playing for four different NBA teams, he's an NBA Cares ambassador and a hometown favorite, Felipe Lopez. Known as the NBA's Iron Man, this 16-year veteran and NBA All-Star won three championships with the Los Angeles Lakers. A.C. Green. And finally, a first-round draft pick by the Washington Bullets in 1987. He spent most of his 14-year career with the Charlotte Hornets. The shortest player in NBA history, Muggsy Bowe. Ladies and gentlemen, a big Brooklyn round of applause for the Boost Mobile NBA D-League All-Star Dunk Contest judges. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are your 2015 Boost Mobile NBA D-League All-Star Dunk contestants. From the Canton Charge, Kevin Ole Kibe. From the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, Jarvis Threet. From the Texas Legends, Eric Griffin. And from the Westchester Knicks, Thanasis Antetokounmpo. Let's hear it for your 2015 Boost Mobile NBA D-League All-Star Dunk contestants. All right, so a nice round of applause for Thanasis Antetokounmpo. And of course, he helped his brother Giannis Antetokounmpo Saturday night in the Sprite Slam dunk here at Barclays. But Bones, that didn't go so well for the Antetokounmpo family. There is the Greek freak. Well, let's see if uh, he can turn it around for his brother and help him win this one. <laughs> but Zach, Zach Levine was not getting beat. No. I don't care how much I, help I don't, you I get. Don't, unless he would have jumped from the three point line and dunked, that's the only way he was beating Zach last night. Tried to wrap around lefty flush, wouldn't go. Got the foam on that toss. Yeah. Three, you got the foam on the bottom. This is Kevin Olekibe. Ooh, there That's you it. go. Nice windmill to get him started. And Brent, you know how hard this is. When you throw that ball on the backboard bounce, you just don't know sometimes. So if you can get on the first go, it kind of makes it a little more exciting. I'll also tell you, I don't know where Kevin warmed up. He's not playing in the game. So if he was back in the tunnels getting Great his call. legs going, I don't know. The first couple looked like he wasn't going to get up enough to dunk, and then finally, Gets that one to go. Well, he got all eights. Even I can do that math. That is a 40 on dunk one for Kevin Ole, Ole Kibe from Canton. Two dunks in the first round. And the highest composite scores from those two dunks uh, and the two highest scores will move on to the championship round. This is Jarvis three of the Rio Grande Valley Vipers. Oh, a reverse windmill off the bounce. See, when 3D starts grabbing me oh when guys God. are in the air, I know oh. 3D is excited. Oh my goodness. This series of 10, it's field. a 50. But you, you know why, guys? Because it looks so easy, like he hit the trampoline. Real casual. Boing. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Bones, have we seen that in the NBA dunk contest? Uh, we've seen things like that, but uh, 3D is right. There's a glide to, to yes. what he does and then the, the, the amazing bounce. And for a guy we haven't seen before, that yeah, it gets us excited. Yes, it does. 3D, you can let go oh, now. I can let go. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> All right, so Vander Blue is going to help Eric Griffin here. Griffin of the Texas Legends. This is becoming a popular thing off the side of the backboard, 3D. the side of the backboard into a windmill for Eric Griffin. Daps up his teammate on the prospects. Vander Blue. What's it going to be, Felipe? Felipe oh. gives it a 10. And four nines. Pretty good score right there. Uh, pretty good score. Felipe's being real uh, generous. Uh, Bones, what was your score on that? I think that's a fair score. I mean, with him able to windmill that, and, and Vander Blue just sat down next to us and asked Vander, what was wrong with that first pass? He said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Griffin just wasn't feeling it. Oh, yeah. And Tate Kupo. And a strut afterwards. A little dab oh. from his brother. Oh, the dance. <laughs> All I tens like of 50 for Thanasis and Tate Kupo. Had a little Oladipo in there a little bit, a little 360 and some more. And then had a little salsa dance yeah. with Felipe Lopez afterwards. Yes. But, a, you know, 50s 3D is the one thing where you, it, it's got to be perfect. So you're gotta leaving, you got to leave a little room. Yes. There. Especially on the first round. First, I, I agree. Especially a little on the first room. round. A 360 into a reverse, that's pretty special. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. <laughs> he plays for the Westchester Knicks, so they're loving it here at Barclays. And it's three, and Ante Tacumpo, each with 50s, on their first dunk of this first round. Oh! Little deep brown yes. action here by Jarvis, three. Actually, my bad, this is Kevin Olekibe. Oh, and he nailed it! It's on sight. You like that one, Bones? I really do like that yes. one. Off the backboard and then getting the head down 3D, having a feel for where the rim is. That's pretty sweet. You just, and those scores are... Oh, man. Yeah, all right, the 10. Felipe did it justice. Yes. Just to bump the, the big score up. But, man, this is difficult. Catching the, the ball. Bounce. Cover your eyes. I mean, he really isn't seeing the rim at that point. No. He knows where he is, but not seeing the rim and throwing it in. That's impressive. That's very impressive. They each felt a little low on that one. Yeah, they were a little low. All right, so Jarvis three, a 50 in his first jam. What does he have for number two? All right, 3D, just don't, don't push me as much as you did the first time. Okay. Didn't like it. There is a clock on him, 45 seconds, and it's now under 30. He likes this one. Oh, my goodness. He just jumped to the clouds and had a conversation and came back down. <laughs> Jarvis three can rise. Had to call that young fellow the cloud stepper. Well, Felipe giving step the 10 with, the with his hands. Oh my Another goodness. 50 for Jarvis 3. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Mm. A little double clutch in there as well. And Felipe, Felipe's reaction is exactly what we're getting from Dennis over here at the, at the table. Oh my goodness. Once again, people, the bounce has to be perfect. You lose sight of the rim, Brent, when you do the 360, and now you add the extra little pump there. Ooh. Here's Griffin. Massive disadvantage, to be honest with you. This big guy going after what the little yes. guy just did. You gotta be spectacular. That, that toss was real short for the other yeah. way out. He's approaching 10 seconds. He's got 45 seconds to complete the dunk. This is probably his last attempt. He doesn't like it. Down to five. Go on, Eric. Down to three, down to two, and he cannot beat the buzzer. So he'll probably get the minimum score of sixes across the board, and that is exactly what has happened. So a disappointing second attempt for Eric Griffin. And now we get dunk number two from Thanasis. And take to Kupo. That was too bad, 3D. I hailed a cab in less than 45 seconds in New York City. You gotta get a dunk to go. You gotta get it going. 
clock is running. And Giannis over the backboard. To Thanasis. That should not score well. No. But maybe enough to get him into the championship round. And at this point, that's all you need, right, Bones? It, it should be him, and it, and it, it should be him, and it should be three. Well, they're all over the place. A six, a ten, a nine, an eight, and a seven. <laughs> Is one eye closed, one eye open? <laughs> Now to the regular Joe watching on his couch, that's pretty spectacular. But for the Antetokounmpo family, that's pretty routine. Yeah, they do that every day. They do that in practice every day. <laughs> so Antetokounmpo, a composite score of 90. Jarvis, three with a pair of 50s at 100. So it'll be three and Antetokounmpo dunking for the slam dunk title here in the Development League next on NBA TV. Welcome back to the Boost Mobile 2015 NBA Development League Slam Dunk Contest. So Ole Kibe and Griffin are out. Ante Takupo and the so far perfect Jarvis Threat are in the final round. And Jarvis Threat is a distant cousin of Sedale Threat, who got buckets back in the day. Yes, he did. 
they called the combo guard to play some point, play a little two. But he was definitely looking for his shot first. <laughs> That's Dennis Scott, Brett Berry, Rick Campbell as well. We've got Jared Greenberg, too, here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Look at the Ante Tecumpo brothers. Greek freak and littler Greek freak. And Giannis, by the way, just having a great year with Milwaukee. Big part of their surge up to six in the standings in the East. And now Thanasis of the Westchester Knicks of the Development League measuring it. So this will be the third consecutive dunk where he's used his brother. Yeah, I'm not going to be shocked if he's involved in, in all of them. Yeah. Really. Giannis, a little lob. And it looked like he was going to try to get the elbow all the way in like Vince. Is that what you saw? Absolutely. He was trying to get that one to, to hang up there, 3D. And that's that's not going to score well. No, it's not going to score well. Looked like you might have hurt his forearm a little bit, too. <laughs> I love Muggsy with the, come on there, come on. Muggsy with a six, Felipe with a six. The highest score there is from the gentleman who won the uh, sweepstakes to be a judge, Edward Bermudez. Well, he's very, he's, he's very generous. Mm, almost got it. How much pain do you think he's in right there, Bones? He's trying to mask it and act like nothing hurts, but is that a pretty painful if process? You're equating embarrassment with pain, he's in a <laughs> lot of pain. No, he uh -oh. just didn't get up enough. So here's Jarvis three. Okay, just to practice. That was just a practice yeah. rehearsal, 3D. I don't want to waste no time, though. He's got back-to-back -back 50s, still plenty of time. 45 seconds on the clock. He is approaching 20 seconds left. Three off the window and a windmill. Pretty routine. And that's not quite the bounce that we yeah, saw in the, the first, first two yeah. 3D. So he let me down a little bit, but hey, it's still amazing. Once again, once you throw that ball off the backboard, you just don't know how it's going to bounce. Felipe has oh, been very Felipe, generous. You're very generous. So his streak of 50s comes to an end. Pretty tasty. Well, that next angle, look, he's looking into the rim, right? Well, hello, rim, how you doing? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's good. I just think that we think maybe on the toss, there's yeah. some more, there's definitely more creative ways to get to that point for him. The, the dunk itself is, is still spectacular. Right. So here's the updated scores. And in the final round, it is 45-34, Threet over Ante Tecumpo, who probably needs a 50 bones just to be alive to win this thing. Well, he needs to do better than the first one, I can tell you that. <laughs> Giannis off the side to a reverse dunk by his brother Thanasis. And he kind of walks meekly off the court as if not even impressed by what he did. Well, it's written all over his face, as they say. Felipe continues to be generous. Yes, he has. And Reggie Jackson also gave him a nine. There's a reason why Felipe Lopez works in community service for the NBA. <laughs> He's continuing to do that here yes. during the contest. He is in a giving mood for sure. I mean, again, there aren't too many brothers in the United States who can collaborate on that. But this is Dream Factory. That's right. The Development League Dunk Contest. So one more for Jarvis, three. And let's hope Jarvis does something pretty spectacular. Please. Doesn't doesn't mail one in for us, 3D. Just to put an exclamation point on it. Fifty, fifty, and forty-five so far for three. Clock is running, approaching twenty seconds left. Doesn't like that one either. Uh, clock is ticking, 3D. Yes, it is. Oh, oh yeah! He went through his legs, and there is your winner, Jarvis Three has won the Development League Slam Dunk Competition 2015. Oh my goodness. Your new nickname is the Cloud Stepper because you jump to the clouds and dance around, then come back down and said hello. That oh. was awesome. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, Jarvis. Tens across the board. And he did record a 50, a 50, 50, 45, 50. Not a bad little halftime for Jarvis three. Well, maybe we call him little 50 then.
Because, <laughs> my goodness, Brent. That might be his vert. It might be his vert, uh, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, that was spectacular. He finally got the toss through yes, the clock winding down through the legs. Oh, and look my. at the hang time oh. up there. Felipe Lopez trying to get Threet's jersey off of him to see if he could get a signature, take it home with him. Look at look at look at look at look at this. I love it. Look at look. He's running home. He's running home. We don't need to ride. That's what it's all about, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Having uh, a great time at Barclays in Brooklyn. Your champion dunk style in the D League, Jarvis Three. Dream Factory presented by Boost Mobile and the Slam Dunk Champion. That is Malcolm Turner, Development League President, handing the trophy to Jarvis Three of RGV. Yes, they are proud in Rio Grande of their guy, Jarvis Three, 350s to win the title.